Today you're going to have a journey with white buffalo car forming, connecting to your river of light. So make yourself very comfortable. Nice slow breathing. And she says, I see a beautiful forest scene. The trees are tall and strong, with the roots digging deep into the Mother Earth. Then I notice a creek which flows through this forest and is alive with energy as the water moves rapidly over the huge rocks and pebbles. Then in the distance I notice a huge mountain majestic against the cobalt blue sky. Then appearing as if from nowhere I notice white buffalo calf woman. She appears in white buckskin and beautiful moccasins that extend to her knees. She has raven black hair and a beautiful face full of wisdom and strength. She is surrounded by a rainbow mist that envelops her and swirls all around her. White Buffalo Calf Woman speaks. Welcome, rainbow children of the Mother Earth. It is with gratitude and love I come forth to speak with you to this day. I feel gratitude that you allow yourself the time and intention to seek out these words of wisdom and allow them to flow over you and through to you to your heart. I feel love as it is, the glue that holds the universe together and connects us in mystical and wondrous ways. The vision of the forest is intentional on my part, for it is a metaphor for the understandings that I would like to bring forth to each of you. Being grounded upon your earth is of utmost importance, especially in these times of extreme change. For some of you, it may feel as if your world is spinning out of control and you are having difficulty keeping your balance and sense of where you fit. As the external world unfolds, this is why I suggest the importance of extending your roots deep into the earth and know that your journey upon this beautiful Mother Earth is of the most utmost importance. Connecting with your breath is one way to bring yourself into present time and connectedness to your Mother Earth. The image of the creek flowing freely through the forest is to remind you of your personal river of light that you connected to from the crown of your being. This river of light extends to source and feeds your life force through your crown and extends into your body and continues deep into the Mother Earth, connecting the Divine with the Mother. This connection to your river of light allows you to have this sacred journey upon the Earth. When you were a baby taking your first breath, you connected to Source and your eternal knowing. This connection is paramount to your well-being while you journey upon this dimension of Earth. When you chose to leave this Earth and your earthly body, your outbreath will transport you to the vastness of your Source energy. The creek I have shown you is lively, flowing with joy and intensity. I would suggest it is important for your river of light to flow 
with the same joy and feeling of energy and well-being. It is important to notice when your river of light is not completely aligned to the creator energy and your life force is diminished. This may manifest to you in a variety of ways, such as not being able to sleep properly at night, or having difficulty focusing on the day-to-day -day activities that make up your day. Noticing your dreams, hopes, trusting in your intuition are all ways in which you can consciously connect to the river of light that is your life force, your birthright. Bringing your attention back to the creek, you will notice it flows over the huge boulders with ease and almost seems to enjoy the rocks as they create an opportunity for the water splash and roar as it flows back to the main waterway. It is not an accident that all water flows eventually towards the ocean and sea. The trickle of water from streams, creeks, flows into rivers and lakes and then eventually all water flows to the mother ocean. Water finds its way back to source. Truly this is a beautiful example of being in the flow. Noticing for self when you are in the flow will allow you many understandings and allow you to know if your spirituality is growing for you. Connecting inten intentionally with the Creator does not mean your life will automatically become perfect, but if you give yourself the tools for transformation you will find that the creek, like the creek, you can be in the flow and the boulders that may be in your life, such as worry, doubt, guilt or judgment, will not stop you, but rather provide you with contrast and an opportunity to learn and grow. A rainbow is a compilation of raindrops creating a fine mist and then as the light illuminates those rainbow drops you get to see the wonderful prism of light that emanates from this vision you call a rainbow. The vision of the rainbow allows you the gift of being able to see from earth the river of light which connects you so easily and beautifully to the Creator. I call you rainbow people, as each of you holds a colour in your spiritual knowing that connects you to an aspect of the cosmos. Some of you are connected to the blue ray and resonate in the love and infinities that provide for you. For others, the green ray speaks to your hearts, and this allows you to be powerful healers. Each of you came to this beautiful Mother Earth with a specific intention and reason for being. Your discovery of this, of course, up to you once you come into human form, and you help each other and seek answers from various understandings, books, movies, gurus and wise ones. You are reminded to underestimate the wisdom and knowledge that is inherent in the heart of your being, woven into the fabric of your being and DNA. Finding your true colours to help you shine and glow is your birthright and reason for being. This can be accomplished by noticing what you love to do, where your energy flows in the most sweet and uninterrupted way. What activities do you love to immerse yourself in? 
For some of you, it may be a walk upon Mother Earth. For others, spending time with your grandchildren or reading and dreaming of adventures in far-off lands. Do you love to sing, write and visit with a friend? Noticing what you love to do are whatever you are drawn to are clues for you as to your purpose and what you will feed your soul and bring you to your highest good. On this your sacred journey of life. This attention to yourself is a gift of discovery that only you can make for self. If you make choices that include sourcing to what other people think, then you are living their dream and not your dream. I tell you to ponder this for self. Allow the wisdom of it to stream into your body and breathe it into your DNA for the connection of your breath and body is the place of transformation and change. As you have noticed, there is much change on your planet and you all have to find your place in the unfolding dramas and decide how you fit into the place in the world. The times you have chosen to incarnate into are times of great wonder and excitement and also many shadow stories are unfolding as well. Finding your way among the maelstrom of information and sensory overload is no easy task. In the meantime, I walked upon the earth. I brought the gift to my people of the wisdom, of sharing wisdom through stories. The transformational rhythm of the drum and rattle, and power of the voice in song and the importance of connecting and sourcing to the Mother Earth. I would say unto each of you that these gifts are still able to grow form. For you, my most beautiful ones, each of you rainbow children, can be supported by listening to stories that help you to bring into with each other and your Mother Earth. You can be transformed by the power of dance and movement of your bodies. Allow your senses to be soothed through the power of music that you can create with a drum, a rattle, piano, a guitar, or tune into music created by your fellow humans. I would say each of you has a song to sing. And finding your song is one way to present your gifts to the world. Your song may be that you are a powerful healer. It may be that you are a consummate mother to your children. Or you are a wise grandfather to your grandchildren. If you hide your brilliance and wonderful being in a cloak of grief, sadness, worry or guilt or anger, you not only hinder yourself, you withdraw from the world and the opportunity to engage with your unique aspect of divinity. Each of you carry a spark of the divine within your being, and to bring forth your gifts will only enhance your world and this world you chose to reside in together right now. The time to shine and glow in the full rainbow of all the colours is now. Like a beautiful tapestry, you are all connected. Have you ever flown over land that looked from the air like a patchwork quilt? To observe from this perspective the fields of corn, wheat or barley? Growing below, it is a magnificent sight. It is easy from that vantage point to notice if a field is fallow and the farmer has not grown, sown any seeds to grow. 
it is the same for us here from this perspective and observing and loving you. We too can see if you are sowing the seeds that will grow corn. For you, or if you are allowing your being to lie fallow, it truly is up to you the seeds of intention you choose to sow and to nurture your intentions with trust for self, love for self and honour for self. This is not for someone else to do for you. Of course you need one another for love and support, but you are the only one who knows what is best for you and can make the transformational leaps to empower the self. I understand this can create some consternation as you may not always feel you know what is best for yourself. But I ask you to be courageous and know you are worth the focus and love and attention it will take to allow the knowing that is inherent in your being to come forward like a budding rosebud providing yourself with nurturing energy will enable you to flower and bloom to your potential. Consider the flowers, they absorb the sunshine that is offered to them. They drink deeply of the rain that falls to their outstretched leaves and petals. I am asking you to open your heart up to the light and drink deeply from the love that is here for you as you journey upon the earth. One way you can do this is to go out to Mother Earth, walk upon her belly, lift your face to the sun and drink deeply from the light that shines upon you. Breathe in the energy emerging from the lakes, the rivers, oceans and creeks. This engagement with your breath Will, my dear ones, fill you up with life force that supersedes the shadow that may stalk you at times. As you drink deeply from the gifts of Mother Earth, you can know and trust that you are sourcing to this amazing energy that is your original mother. She protects and cradles you as you walk, drive, play and look upon her. The ways of the ancients can teach you much about your journey upon Mother Earth. If you pay attention, there are many teachings that are available to you and can give you much wisdom. So, my rainbow children, I invite you to play in the rain, soak up the sunshine, Feel the wind on your face and smell the earth beneath your feet. You are part of the rivers, the mountains, the lakes and the streams. They flow through your being as surly as the blood and muscles and bones that make up the fabric of your human body. Embrace your connections on this planet and you will be rewarded with strength and your being. I am white buffalo type woman. And now as I tune into the vision of this magnificent one, I see her beautiful figure dressed in white buckskin veiled into the rainbow that extends over the huge mountain as she becomes the rainbow of colours. And so it is. Thank you so much for being on this journey. Just start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Have a nice big stretch coming back into the space where we began today. Namaste.